Hey kids, it's me, Tony, and I have a little floss tube extras. I got a couple of things in the mail after I did my last floss tube, and I wanted to share them with you. So, the first one I'm very excited about. It's from an Etsy um, shop. It's called Deborah Harry's, and I have Jan Hicks to thank for this because she was first... The first one to sort of highlight this this shop and this person um as i unwrap it um hello pretty look at their little sticker she makes project bags of all different sizes but she does is she gets pieces of needlework that people have you know it ended up at this thrift store, it wasn't finished, or it was something happened to it, and she incorporates it into her pieces. So, here is so cute, so cute. So, here's her card. Here is her information. She will even take pieces you supply and, um, you know, you just have to send her pictures, I think, or something, and she will uh, turn them into pieces for you as well. So she also included um, a cute little, this is one of those, you remember the old, um, sewing covered a sweet little note and my bill and then look what she does she wraps things in old pattern paper isn't that the cutest thing this is so cute i'm so excited so i just bought a small pouch because i just needed something small but i want you to see the front of it isn't that cute? It's all embroidered with somebody's embroidered piece. And then she added the rickrack and this, this, you know, complimentary pattern in the back. And then and open it up for you. The inside is made of like oil cloth and you can see it has a coordinated color inside so it's all wifeable. You could use this for a makeup bag. I'm actually going to put a small, um, probably my little bee um, cross stitch because it's small and the card is small in there. But isn't this cute? She has all different types, size bags, all different size, um, you know, from small, smaller than this to, you know, large, really, you know, good size project bags. She also has, I mean, a lot of her stuff are cross stitch pieces, she has embroidery pieces, just so sweet and just a wonderful way to incorporate these things that, you know, we've all seen pieces at the thrift store and you wonder you know what's going to happen to it or you've got that stitching from grandma or for you know I have an aunt that did a lot of embroidery and it's like what do I do with these doilies I don't know what I would do with these doilies well you know here's a way to incorporate them but this is just so cute and someone you know actually stitched this so I just wanted to show you this. I'll put her information down below as well. But I just thought this was a really cute idea. Uh, her prices are reasonable. And you know, it's a way to support yet another small business and um, get a lovely item in return that you will use much longer than this little piece would have ever seen. And so that's it. I have. I want, one other thing I'm going to share, but I'll do that separately. So, just hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I think this is adorable. I'm excited to get to use it. You know, just so you see the bottom, you do have a lot of room. 
at the bottom. Oh, it's kind of hard to get this on camera because I'm doing this. I have the camera propped up. Propped up. Right, so here's how thick it is. Opened up. So it's a good size. That's it. So bye bye.